Hello children, welcome again to this virtual lab where we have already learnt how light gets refracted through a glass slab. This was the glass slab and we studied that uh, for the parallel refracting surfaces as in the glass slab, the emergent ray this was the emergent ray if you remember the emergent ray is parallel to the incident ray however it is slightly displaced as we learned about the lateral displacement now today what we are going to study we will be seeing how would light get refracted through a prism or we can say through a transparent prism. This is actually a glass prism. It has two triangular surfaces. One is this. If I upside, if I do it upside down, another one is this. And it has three rectangular surfaces. One is this next one is this and the third one is this so it has three rectangular surfaces and two triangular surfaces okay these surfaces are inclined to each other the angle between its two lateral faces is called angle of prism so let us now do an activity to study the refraction of light through a rectangular prism. Okay. For this, the materials required are the prism, pencil, drawing sheet, protector, scale, few pins, and of course, the drawing board, the wooden drawing board. Okay, so let's start. So I'll keeping, I, I'll be keeping all these things here only to use it when it is they are required. So first, what is the first step? First step is to fix a sheet of paper on the drawing board or the wooden board with these soft board pins. So I am fixing it so that it does not move when we do an activity. Okay. So like this we can fix it. Now what we have to do we have to take a glass prism and place on this drawing sheet in such a way that it rests on its triangular base okay so it it is resting on the triangular base now we have to trace the outline we have to trace the outline as we traced in the during the first activities that activity that is refraction through glass slab so in this way you can trace the outline now i am removing this glass prism for a while and will complete uh, these lines so that They are clear. Okay. Like this. Now, take the protector. Keep it like this. Let us take a point on the, on this, uh, say this, these are A, the, b and c so let, let's take a point on the uh, side a b and keep the protector in such a way that it's this line 
coincide with the with the side ab and the point which we have taken coincides with this point okay so this i am keeping it so first i'll draw the normal as you all know i'll mark the normal at 90 degree and from 90 degree i'll take these for example uh, i'll take this is 10 20 30 40 let's take 40 degree this time okay so once again please see this is 90 then 90 then 80 means 10 then 70 10 then 60 and then 40 means 40 degree i have taken now i'll draw this line as normal this is normal and this is this will be the angle of this will be sorry the incident ray okay this will be the incident ray what is the angle of incidence it is 40 degree okay now uh, let's uh, place two pins on the incident ray you can take these pins even you can take all pins also whichever you prefer Mm, and i'll place these pins on the incident ray now i'll bring back the glass prism put it on the place it or put it on the traced this thing traced outline okay now what i am going to do is i am going to observe uh these two pins i am going to observe these two pins from another surface okay from the from this surface these two pins from this surface so i am keeping my eye here and and keeping my eye uh, keeping my one eye closed i will observe this okay so let's do it i will uh, i will be observing i will be observing these two pins these two pins from this surface oh sorry it is moved and uh, mark or fix two pins in such a way that all the four pins they appear in the same uh, same uh, line okay so let's do it yes so it can be seen now all the four pins they are uh, i can see it that they are in the straight line i am try i will try to show you also but so like this you have to observe it okay from here so yes 
what I am going to do is now again I will remove the glass prism and mark the position of these two pins like this. Okay. Now I will be joining these two lines with the uh, outline of the prism in this way. So I will remove these two pins also. Suppose say this is P, this is Q, this is R and this is S. Okay. Now children please join these two lines. Okay. And this is the point of incidence again. And from here, you can draw a normal here. This is, this will be the normal. So you can see that this is incident ray, it is traveling from air to the glass and then it is bending towards the normal making angle R here. We will measure this angle and then from glass it is again coming out into the air and it is bending away from the normal making an angle which will be known as angle of uh, emergence and this ray is known as emergent ray. Okay, this is incident ray. Okay, so uh, what uh, I want to tell you that in the assignment which we did for practice for the refraction of light through glass lab we observed that the incident ray and the emergent ray were parallel but in this case you can see if i if i extend the if i extend this uh, incident ray with a dotted line like this Okay, and if I uh, extend emergent ray backward in this way, so this was the path of the incident ray. But when the ray came out of the glass prism, it, it bent like this and the angle it made with the incident ray is known as angle D. Means angle of deviation. This is called angle of deviation. So what you have to do? You have to calculate angle I, angle R, angle angle E and angle D. So this, these are the four angles you have to calculate. So what we did, I am repeating it again, once again, I extended this incident ray of light with a dotted line like this and I extended this emergent ray backward. And they meet at one point making an, an angle which is known as angle of deviation. I mean to say that this was the path of the, of the incident ray. But when it entered glass and then came out of the glass into the air, the emergent ray is found 
bent to the at an angle which is known as angle of deviation or i can say that and this emergent ray is deviated to an angle which is known as angle of deviation okay so why it happened it happened due to this peculiar uh, shape of the glass prism which is triangular shape it does not happen in case of the uh, glass slab because the Uh, refracting surfaces of the glass slab are parallel to each other but here in the case of prism they this is we can say it is a peculiar shape because they are not uh, parallel to each other they are actually in triangular in shape so uh, this is why the difference is coming so uh, if you remember our angle of incidence was 40 degree so you can measure angle of uh, angle of this thing refraction it is 10 degree you can measure you can measure this angle also angle of emergence by keeping protector like this this is 90 so this is 10 20 30 40 50 and 60 degree so this is 60 degree okay and what is the angle of uh, deviation angle of deviation we can measure like this Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, and it is forty-three. Forty-three. So this is all about uh, the this uh, pr practical assignment or this activity that is refraction of light through prism, where we learnt that the emergent ray gets deviated from its path to the incident ray and this is due to the peculiar uh, shape of the prism which makes the emergent ray bend at an angle to the direction of the incident ray and this angle is called angle of deviation thank you and have a nice day